Hello, Caucus Monstrous. Hello. Hello. <laughs> How are you? I'm good. Happy Valentine's Day. Thanks, I guess. I'm assuming you sent me um, the chocolate molds of your butthole for Valentine's Day. I should be expecting uh, those. Of course. Oh, fuck yes. <laughs> I swear to God, I'm going to marry the first whore that fucking, that actually does that for me. I've been talking about it for <laughs> three fucking years. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yes, I know what you're talking about. People still, every year people send that shit to me. I'm like, all right, this is old. But, yeah, I'll probably marry the whore that sends me her butthole and a chocolate. Oh, my God. And what should I be expecting from you? Some thought out cum that I've put into the mail. Mm, it's in right. a jar. I expect you to drink it when you receive it. Okay, thank you. I'm going to need a video of it as well. You put a lot of thought into this. I, Yeah. I mean, it's from the heart. I, 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 I also it's, isn't it supposed to be? It was made with love. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I'm jerking off into a jar for a couple of weeks. Because I knew that's exactly what you would want. That's a dangerous game to play. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I posted something the other day about, um, it was a text message between me and somebody. I was like, asking if she wanted to come eat my cum out of a dog bowl while I fucked up her ass. And yeah, I posted or whatever. And some guy was like, hold on, wait a minute. Do you just have like stockpiles of your cum sitting around? <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, well, <laughs> kind of. <laughs> For certain people. <laughs> They get their own jar, you know? Oh, my God. This is making you uncomfortable. Um, kind of. It's just... You must have a lot of time. It's not that I have a lot of time. I'm good at multitasking. I'll be, like, posting a meme and I'm jerking off into a cup at the same time, you know? Like, talented oh. like that. Wow. Right? I'm impressed. Right? It's when I make the best captions. <laughs> oh my god. Captions are so hard sometimes. Like sometimes I have no idea what to say. That's why I just put an upside down emoji face. <laughs> oh, you put the moon? <laughs> that moon that you always No, do. the moon always has meaning. Okay? <laughs> always. But if I have no idea what to put, I'm like, eh, upside down smiley face, whatever. <laughs> Nobody understands yeah. it anyway. Fuck it. <laughs> Um, the fuck was I just saying? Oh, so, you know, after, like, and this was a couple of years ago, like, the whole freezing cum or whatever was a thing on my Snapchat. You know, people are like, you should sell your frozen cum. I'm like, all right, first of all, the last thing I need is one of you bitches claiming rape or <laughs> sprinkling my nut around a murder scene. I ain't got time for that shit. I ain't sending my cum to nobody. I've had chicks be like, yo, jerk off in a condom, tie it off, and send it to me. Then I'll drink it. I'm like, I mean, I would. <laughs> <laughs> like, I would. Because <laughs> I would love to see you drink two, three-day-old fucking nut that's been in the mail. Ew, but the, But the way my, I'm not trying to go to jail is set up. Well... <laughs> I'm going to pass on that one. So, yeah. That makes sense. I would not do that either. Yeah, I watch I watch Law and Order. <laughs> I have. <laughs> I know how that shit goes. I ain't no dummy. I watch a lot of true crime. Yeah, I know. You're obsessed <laughs> with it. 
<laughs> All right. So you actually put some things in here this week. Shocking. I'm surprised. I did, but um, there's like one, two. I only put, yeah, two topics. So there's, yeah, just the two topics and then those pictures. What's Banta like a scouser? Um, somebody told me that. <laughs> and I didn't know what it was. So I had to, like, look it up. <laughs> Do you know what that is? Of course. Oh, I had no idea. I had to look it up. And then I was like, oh, thanks. <laughs> like, I didn't know if they were being mean. Or, like, what what, they what were did they say? You have banter like a scouser? Um, they were saying that about the podcast. Oh, that's a good thing. Yeah, I didn't know that. Though. I had to, like, thing. Google it before I replied. <laughs> Like, are you being mean or are you being nice? I didn't know. That was very nice. <laughs> Thank you. And top of the morning to you. Whoever <laughs> said that. Who's the bus guy? You ride the bus? No, I don't ride the bus. There's a guy on the I was going to say, I've been to your place. I don't, I don't think there's a bus system out there, is there? Yes, there is. Is there? Yes. I feel like you gotta walk or call for somebody to pick you up on their horse. <laughs> There's this new thing called Uber. You probably don't know about it because you're so old. Okay, first of all, I make a shitload of free credits off of Uber, so chill the fuck out. <laughs> <laughs> I know exactly what Uber is. But yeah, we have a bus system. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> but yeah. What's that got but to do with Uber? I'm just saying, like, even if we didn't, you can just Uber. You don't need to get a horse. (laughs) How would one get a horse? I don't know. I'm sure you could, like, call and rent one or something. I don't know. Probably where you live, yeah. I think anywhere you can, like, rent a horse. I don't think I can rent a horse here. I think you can. Like, if I had to get home and I wanted to ride a horse home, I don't, I don't think that's possible right now. I feel like you can rent a horse. Well, I don't think so. <laughs> I disagree. <laughs> okay, but what about, like, when kids have birthday parties and they, like, get a horse okay, for those the party? Are ponies. Aren't they... Those are ponies. But they're renting it. Well, do you, like, rent those from, like, the clown store or something? Same shit. You can still rent something and ride it home. You can't keep a full-size horse at a clown store. But you can ride a mini horse. Well, I well, I mean, technically, I don't think that I could. I think of Reagan's back. <laughs> I think I'm a little too old for that. <laughs> I could do that. You know what's cool? Those little midget ponies. You ever seen those motherfuckers? Yes, I have. They're way cooler than just regular midgets. Because they're ponies. I, I love little ponies. <laughs> they're like big dogs. They're so cool, and I love goats and like sheep. Okay, so and down. llamas, <laughs> alpacas, <laughs> <laughs> camels. Are you a vegetarian? <laughs> what? Are you a vegetarian? No, I'm not a vegetarian. <laughs> That's nice. Why? I'm sure all your goat and sheep and alpaca friends appreciate that. <laughs> I don't care. They're still cute. Cute and <laughs> but delicious. But the circle of life, so. But wait. What was Bus Guy? Oh. <laughs> we got way sidetracked on that shit. <laughs> Fuck. There's a guy on my Snapchat that always snaps to me. Him jacking off on a bus. Okay, like, somebody needs to call the cops on him. Okay. <laughs> He's straight up, like... Oh, what the fuck was that? Did you hear that? That was the bus guy coming to <laughs> jerk so off scared. on you. <laughs> I did hear that. It's probably one of your fucking cats. I'm so freaked out. Okay, sorry. Listen, for the sake of the show, just go with whatever happens. If somebody busts in and starts <laughs> killing you, just, you know, let it play out. It's for the sake of the show. But yeah, he's like on a bus 
dick wide out. Like it's everything is out. Wide out. <laughs> like his pants are like down. Not like down down, but like like his ass is out. They're, they're right below his ass. Like his everything's out and he's just jacking off and it's like him and he's like going and then he turns the camera and he shows all the fucking people on the bus and then he turns it back and does it again and it's like he's going like it was like at least a minute probably. And he sent me these multiple times, like on multiple occasions. Does he complete? <laughs> Not on the video, no. I don't know if he does in person. I've never replied to him. <laughs> Probably a good idea. <laughs> but, yeah. So, I don't know where he lives, but just watch out for the weirdos on the bus. Oh my because God. they're out there. <laughs> I, feel like, I feel like he's got to be in New York to get away with some shit like that. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I don't know. But yeah, it was weird. <laughs> That's right. the best guy. <laughs> I don't I don't see the attraction or the, the turn on. Oh, one day he was wearing scrubs. So he does something oh. in the medical field. <laughs> oh no, somebody should seriously call the cops on this guy. <laughs> He's a menace to society. <laughs> I think he listens to the podcast. Listen here, nurse dick <laughs> jerker. <laughs> you do that shit at home. Fuck is wrong with you? God, just imagine what he's doing to patients when they're unconscious. Oh my god, don't say that. Even if he's not touching, he's just standing there naked, jerking his dick. Like, that's weird. Yeah. I mean, to each their own, but, you know. Keep it, keep it in oh. not public settings. Unless it's I a mean, bathroom. Yeah, there's things you can do in public that can still be fun, but that's a little inappropriate. Like, I'm pretty sure if you get caught, you're a registered sex offender for the rest of your life. I would hope so. <laughs> I would fucking hope so. <laughs> that, I, I, I don't even know. That's just, just weird. <laughs> So yeah. <laughs> Did you have you ever seen? Um, it's a Netflix show. It's called You. Oh yeah. Where he's in the fucking bushes jerking off across the street, and the old lady comes out. <laughs> yep. Yep. <laughs> Yo, Joe Goldberg was tripping. <laughs> that show was so good. I can't wait for season. It was, two. and I don't watch TV, but that shit was good. It was. That shit was okay. fucking good. It'll be interesting to see uh, how the second season plays out. I know. I think so, too. Bex could have got it, though. Uh, I know. She was pretty hot. Yeah. So was Peach. I liked Peach. Not like her personality, but she was sexy. I don't know which one that was, but I wouldn't have fucked any of her other friends. She was the Asian friend that was, like, rich. (laughs) Yeah, so she was the Asian friend. I thought the rich friend was the one that was supposed to be J.D. Salinger's granddaughter or some shit. The one he killed. Yeah, I thought she was the rich one. She wasn't Asian. Yes, she was. No, she wasn't. What is she then? She's something. She was something, but she wasn't Asian. The other girl, there was an Asian girl. There was another girl that was the Asian girl. Oh, I don't remember. The well, other anyway, chick, her. The other chick <laughs> the was like, huh, the rich friend, yeah. She was a little crazy herself. <laughs> she was a little crazy. I mean, not Joe Goldberg crazy, but she was a little crazy. <laughs> that was a good show. Yeah. And and she she would masturbate with a pillow. I loved that. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's because Joe couldn't get the job done. <laughs> What a letdown that was. <laughs> Spoiler alert, by the way, if you haven't watched. Like, bro, bro, you've been stalking this bitch forever. <laughs> you got her in bed. He ain't even last 30 seconds. I know. That's real, though. That's a thing that happens. How's that thing? I don't know. I assume it's because they never get laid. So they're just like, as soon as they get it, they're just like, oh my God. And then it's over. That's unfortunate. 
Um, what did you think about? Let's just go through the whole show. <laughs> <laughs> so after he busts like the quick nut, and then she starts texting with that dude, and you thought oh, she, her, yeah, like that shit fucking bugged me out. I was like, Why? what the fuck? Because it ended up being her dad. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought you meant the fact that she started texting someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Bitch, please. <laughs> I'm like, Half these hoes are not? getting fucked texting somebody with their other hand anyway. Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, but I was like, what the fuck? And she meets up with her dad. And it's like, what the fuck is going on? I know. Was she like, was like a little weird, like, liar. She was just, like, not a good person. Well, neither was he. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, he only killed a few people. He's a, <laughs> he was aight. I felt so bad for the little neighbor boy. Why well, he didn't kill him? I know, but like his mom was like dating that abusive guy, and she was like a drug addict. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. I think he's gonna have to kill the kid in season Why? two. Why? Kid knows too much. Mm, I really, really hope not. Even though they moved across country, I think Joe. I think Joseph's gonna have to find him. I really, really hope not. What? I would be so sad. What? Are you that invested into the little kid? I just feel bad for him. Like, he has a shitty life. Like, kids don't get to choose the lives that they're born into, and it sucks when that's the shit that they have to deal with. Amen, that's life. But it doesn't have to be. <laughs> well, it is. <laughs> anyway, moving right along. <laughs> Let's see. What else you got in here? What did you put in here? You put a lot of stuff in here. Yeah, it did. Some chick asked um, if the overuse of the word daddy is just a, just supposed to be for doms. I wouldn't say that it's just supposed to be for doms. I will say that... I I've, I had women calling me daddy long before I was a dom. Um, and I think now it's just a fucking trend, to be honest. I think it's just become a trend. And I know we've talked about this before. It's it's a fucking trend. Like, I think at this point you've got high school kids walking around calling their fucking boyfriends daddy, which is disgusting. Um, <laughs> and I think chicks are so, like... I, I get screenshots of, like, people talking. They literally just start talking. And, you know, he'll be like, you're going to call me daddy. Because <laughs> I'm going to spank you so hard. Or some shit. And the chicks, like, buy into that crap. Um, I do think it's something that you have to earn. And I think it's being thrown around, like, ridiculously. Honestly. Yeah, I think so, too. If a guy says that to me, like, off top, immediately, like, I'm not talking to you anymore. Right. Right. <laughs> like, when chicks will hit me up, you know, like, if they get my number and we're, like, texting or something, they'll be like, you know, what should I call you or what's your name or whatever. I'm like, God. <laughs> You're stupid. <laughs> I bet you thought I was going to say daddy, didn't you? <laughs> No. I had no idea what you were going to say, but I knew it wasn't going to be your actual name. No, but, like, I don't ever, I'm never, like, you know, you're going to call me daddy. Like, I'm going to earn that shit, believe me. Believe me, I'll earn it. Physically, I'll earn it. Um, So I'm not, like, sitting here t texting with chicks, like, call me daddy. Most of them call me daddy anyway. But, like, call me daddy, bitch. Like, you're going to call me daddy. Like, no. <laughs> I feel like that just takes away from it. Like at that point, it does. It's like, it definitely yeah. does, for sure. Um. Oh, the year of the pig thing. For fucking Christ's sake, I got all these fucking messages <laughs> from people. Oh, you kind of gave away how old you are. You're the year of the pig. I'm like, okay. I didn't say I was the year of the pig. Okay. <laughs> how old is the year of the pig? I have no idea. No clue. Oh, okay. Okay. But in the Chinese New Year, every year is a different year. 
This animal. year is in a different animal. This year is the year of the pig. Chinese New Year was over the last few weeks. It is not my... I am not the year of the pig. I am a pig, but not in Chinese references. Just in American references. So anybody that thought they figured out my age because I'm the year of the pig, no, you didn't, dummy. No, you didn't. (laughs) Well, I'm still pretty sure I'm the year of the monkey. I really think I am. Do you like to throw feces at people? No, that's just the year I was born. (laughs) The year of the monkey. (laughs) Sorry, that was a bad animal joke. (laughs) Let's see what else we got going on here. You ever had a panic attack? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. (laughs) Okay, well, then you're the perfect person to talk about this with. Um... I, I have not ever had one, so I don't know what it's like, but I've dealt with, I've been in situations with women where they've had them. Um, so you've seen one? Oh, many times. Okay. Has it ever happened while you're having sex? No. Or like right before you're about to have sex? No. It's probably a good thing. <laughs> We've been talking about this on my Snapchat for the last few days, and <laughs> there's like mixed um, messages about it. A lot of women were like, well, you know, if I'm having a pan- atta- panic attack and I'm like with a fuck buddy, I want them just to leave. I want them to get the fuck away from me. But if it's somebody that like I'm fucking with, like my boyfriend, then... I expect them to comfort me. Then I had one guy that was like, yeah, my girl has them and I love it when she has them. And I just fuck her right through it. It makes everything (laughs) so much hotter. I was like, damn, bro. Oh my God. I need to talk to the girlfriend. (laughs) If you're out there, message me. (laughs) There you go. Like, I've witnessed that shit. So it's not really a turn on. <laughs> like, I get turned on by some some fucking weird shit, but seeing a woman have a panic attack is not one of them. I just, if she allows it, like, if he is, like, forcing this, that's a problem. If she's allowing it, like, okay, whatever. But I don't see how someone having a panic attack could, like, enjoy that or be okay with that. See, it's hard for me to grasp it because I've never experienced it, so I don't know. Like, I I can just go by what I've seen. It, and it doesn't look, there's nothing sexual about it. It actually is kind of like, I don't know, it depends on my mood. <laughs> Sometimes I'm like, well, like, come on, man, chill the fuck out, you're fine. The fuck is wrong with you? And other times I'm like, it's okay, you'll be fine, probably. <laughs> Let's get you over this. <laughs> So, so I can get my dick in you. Um, are you frozen? God damn it. You there? Yes. Okay. So, any, anyway. I don't know. The one, the one message from the girl that was like, if it's my fuck buddy, I want him to get the fuck away from me. You know, but if it's somebody I'm fucking with, I want them to comfort me or whatever. And I... I thought that was a little weird because I've dealt with it with a fuck buddy. I've dealt with a couple of fuck buddies actually. And I'm like, you know, I, I do my best to make sure they're okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. it's not really much you can do other than try to talk them down, which doesn't generally help anyway. But I don't know. I just thought it was weird that this chick was, you know, wanted. To just like get away from me but I don't know like I don't know the the emotions I, that people I go through I completely understand what she's saying it's it's kind of like a personal thing or you can feel embarrassed or something like that if, especially if it's someone you're not comfortable around um, you're scared they're going to judge you or if you're, you're going to freak them out or you know you don't know 
And so that can like kind of add to it because then you're thinking about that, like, oh my God, this person's watching me. So I get that you would just want them gone. But if it's someone you're comfortable with or something like that, I completely understand. So it's more of a comfort thing. I I would agree. I would feel the same way. But So it was just a fuck buddy would kick them out? Yeah, I would like not want to be around them. Interesting. But if someone's having a panic attack, you're supposed to have them name the things that they see around you. So like if you had a panic attack right now, I'd be like, name five things that you see around you right now. Then you have to say five things and then just keep doing that until, and then you're over it. Um, good to know. <laughs> Would you call him back and be like, all right, come back now. <laughs> no, probably not. <laughs> this is something that we can, I, I actually found a therapist. She's a relationship and family therapist, I believe. Mm-hmm. She is going to be on the show next week. Oh, yay. Um, so we're going to post about it, but I want people to ask questions specifically for this therapist that you would like answered. And uh, it should be interesting. I'm so excited. It should be very interesting. <laughs> so, all right since we're on the topic of panic attacks and that's something we'll definitely discuss with her because why not? Um, (laughs) (laughs) You're the worst. (laughs) Let's talk about cry boners. (laughs) What is a cry boner? (laughs) It's when somebody gets a fucking, we're, we're, we're throwing it back to the boner days. So when somebody gets a boner from somebody else crying. Oh my God. Do you cry when you have panic attacks? Cause that sometimes. could be hot. Oh. Somet- sometimes I do. Yeah. It depends. Oh shit. I'm getting interested. <laughs> so- I would kick you out. <laughs> I think no, no. <laughs> Keep crying, bitch. That dick is hard as fuck. I got a boner. <laughs> you have to help my boner. <laughs> um, we were talking about this, I think, yesterday or today on on my snap, and it, you know that's like a thing. And I, like I, I've mentioned it many times, when I had like some dudes message and be like man i thought i was the only one thank god i'm not the only one because like when you realize that shit i I remember like i know i knew i'd been doing like it's happened to me for a very long time very long time women crying just turns me on i don't know why does it depend on like like how they're crying or why they're crying nope (laughs) just the fact that they're crying nope what about crying from laughing? Because I do that like every day. Oh, that doesn't turn me on. Ah, <laughs> oh, damn it. <laughs> nah, it's gotta be, it's gotta, I do that all the time. It's gotta come from a deep emotional place. It is. It's my humor. <laughs> Whatever. Because <laughs> I do that all the time. Like, I got that <laughs> down. So, I remember... I remember exactly where I was, exactly what was happening the first time that I actually started to question myself about it. I was in my early 20s, and this girl was cussing me the fuck out. I don't remember why, but she was, she was bawling, <laughs> crying. And I, I don't even pay attention, to be quite honest, but the crying, like, turned me on. And, like, I'm standing there, I'm listening to this bitch crying, I'm just like, huh. My dick starts to like get a little, a little tingle, <laughs> got a little pulse. Well, that's starting to grow a little bit, but oh, a little bit more. And then I got a hard dick. And I'm standing there and I'm like, what the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> and she's just yelling the entire time. Yeah, she's just yelling. Uh, like, literally, I don't, I don't listen to people. I really don't. And I'm just standing there, I'm like self analyzing myself because I don't give a fuck what her problem is. And I'm just like, what is, this is so, there's something wrong with me. <laughs> this doesn't seem like it's probably a normal thing. But I got a hard fucking dick right now. 
<laughs> so we're going to see how we can fake this apology or whatever the fuck it is and twist it into some makeup sex. <laughs> oh, my God. Did it work? I'm sure it did. It always does. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, we can talk anybody into sex. Is like, that why guys, like, like do shit to piss us off so then we can yell and cry about it and then they fuck us? That's not why I do shit to piss women off. I just <laughs> naturally piss women off. It's a talent, I think you really. Piss people off. Well, yeah, people in general. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> so many people. I guess you said last week on the show, um, "You're bitter and I'm better." Because I don't think I said oh, that. Oh yeah, I did say that a few times. People are like, make this shit. Like a lot of people are like, make that a shirt. Make that a shirt. So obviously, okay, I'm gonna I'm- make that a shirt. <laughs> Okay, I'm getting a percentage of that. That is mine. Well, <laughs> we can talk about that later. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. So, yeah, Cry Boner. That's what I'm going to name this episode, Cry Boner. Oh, okay. Yeah, I get them <laughs> regularly. That's good to know. I'd say it's unfortunate, but it's really not. It turns me on. <laughs> We should ask the therapist about that. I wonder what her diagnosis of, what, of why that's a thing. A little, a little curious about that. Um, I don't know. I feel like the answer is going to be something you don't want to hear. I mean, I, <laughs> I don't care. Okay. <laughs> let's wait until we hear it, and then let's wait and see if you want to get it edited out. I self-analyze myself constantly. Constantly. <laughs> My friend was watching some documentary this past week, and she was like, and this girl's known me for a long time, long, long time. <laughs> she was like, telling me about this documentary that basically, like, tells you how to break people down, like, what their mental issue is from, like, narcissist to sociopath to psychopath. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> She's like, so there's, like, this checklist... And, you know, we've joked about you being a sociopath for years, but, well, (laughs) you kind of ticked a lot of the boxes. But you're also a narcissist. Oh, yeah, that's given. (laughs) But, (laughs) listen, I've I've researched enough of this shit to, I got a pretty good idea what I got going on up here. But she's sitting there and she's like telling me, I think you might be a, a, you know, I think you're a sociopath. I'm, I watched the documentary actually over the weekend and I'm watching. And I was like, fuck, she's wrong. I might be a psychopath. <laughs> <laughs> you need, what's the name? You have to tell me so I can watch it. Uh, I forget. Um, I'll look at it when I get home and I'll send it to you. Thank you. It was, it was pretty interesting. Pretty interesting. All I watch is documentaries. That's all I try to watch if I watch anything. Um, let's see. Okay, you're a squirter. This was a big deal on my Snapchat this week. You squirt, right? Mm-hmm. You ever get, like, really bad cramps after squirting? Never. All right. <laughs> well, you're useless on this topic. Okay. <laughs> but apparently that's a thing, and it's common. And it's, well... The online doctors had many things to say. What does it mean? You're either dehydrated or... um, I don't know. There was a fancy name for it that just meant you cramp after you orgasm. Or... What was the other one? Oh, that you're uterus is a muscle or your vagina is a muscle so muscles get cramps so okay so i'm just i'm normal i'm good oh you're just normal okay i'm good you just keep your, so- you just keep your uterus nice and stretch the fuck out what no I'm talking about being like dehydrated or whatever you said you don't get cramps I know, because I'm hydrated. Oh. Which is amazing with as much marijuana as you smoke, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I guess cotton pussy doesn't doesn't apply to you. We already discussed that. <laughs> that is not I an know. issue. I know. 
All right, let's look at some of these. Oh, no, let's do this one real quick. Oh, okay. Which one? Is it? Do you ever get off to your? Do you ever get off to videos of yourself getting off? No. This is a big thing for women. Did they do that? Yeah, they'll get off to um, pictures and videos of themselves. Yeah, no, that's not a thing for me. I'm not a narcissist. I'm sorry. Oh, well, maybe you need to step up your narcissism game. I'm good, thanks. <laughs> this is a thing. And I guess it kind of relates, like, I guess I can kind of relate to it because I only get off to my own porn. But, like, chicks will get off to them getting off. That's interesting to me. No, not for me. <laughs> Why not? Because I feel like I just look gross all the time. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Typical fucking woman. And I don't want to watch that. Like, I look fucking disgusting. Who would fuck me? Why are you fucking me? Like, what the fuck? That's what I would think if I watched myself. Tell us how you really feel about yourself. <laughs> Listen, That's I'm going to tell I mean. you, as a narcissist, narcissism is highly underrated. You should really look into it. <laughs> I'm really okay. I'm good. Are you? Yeah. You sound like you're about to cry. No, no everything's I'm not fine. Cry. It's fine. <laughs> I'm fine. I'm not gonna cry. I know I'm gross. I've accepted it. Oh Moving my on. god! What the fuck is wrong with you? <laughs> I know I'm gross. I've accepted it. Wow. I have. Alrighty then. You wild man. You wild. All right. Read some of these fucking things. You put a ton of pictures. In. Oh, you want to play your little video of your little. You little fucking cheerleader. Hmm? <laughs> Where is she? Oh, here she is. With her little bra oh. on. Ne tell her next time pull them titties out. <laughs> Hold on. Let me... I can't find I you. love yes, sir, daddy, sir. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Where is it? You play it? I can't find it. Oh, here she is. I found it. Okay. Let me make sure my volume is up. Just a little video for Yes Sir, Daddy Sir. Um, I think you're adorable and hilarious and not in the least bit annoying. And uh, what you guys are doing with the podcast is really cool. So keep up the good work. She's cute. She's very soft-spoken. A little accent. I can't tell where, like, what accent is that. That's I don't British. know. Is it? I'm pretty sure. Okay. Either that or Scottish or Irish. <laughs> <laughs> it's all the same over there. The queen owns them all. So who cares? <laughs> um, you got any, any any of them that like particularly stand out to you? Um, you want to read this really long one? Which from one? Me? Did I, um. Oh, the one that's two parts? Yeah. Oh, Jesus Just wrote a Christ. fucking novel, I know. Do I have to read the whole thing? Like, is it all necessary? Well, I think so. Oh, my God. Okay. <laughs> How much is too much? Well, bitch, this is too much. <laughs> that's what it's <laughs> when it can't fit in one screenshot, it's too much. There's your answer. <laughs> We're done. Okay. So, here we go. <laughs> How much is too much? Am I a female fuckboy? I like to think of myself as a good little slut. Shit, my phone just closed. Hold on. Jesus. Okay, but sometimes I have myself wondering, am I overdoing it? I thought about this so hard as I contemplated two, technically three, dick appointments in one day. I took a random home the night before from the bar, but his dick game was trash, so I hopped off and made him leave. So I was really needing some good dick. I had invited a guy over that I had met off Tinder, and we have been snapping each other dirty shit for about two months. But when I also had my regular weekly dick appointment that evening, so I started thinking, is three in a 24-hour period too much? The most I've had was four in one week, but three in half a day seems excessive. Is it? I canceled with the Snapchat guy and just went to my regular dick appointment, but I'm kind of regretting it. Mm -hmm. Should I have gone for it, or did I make the right choice? Should I just be out there getting as much as possible? Hmm. 
I need a break, so you go. <laughs> um, I'm feeling dehydrated. <laughs> I'm cramping. Um, well, I mean, as long as you're being somewhat and I can't believe I'm about to say this with safe because that does seem like a lot of people in a 24 hour period. I don't see the issue with it as a man. I know the people I sleep with sleep with other people, but I don't want to see any of them within 24 hours of fucking somebody else. Um, at least 24 hours. If you're letting these dudes like come in you with no condom on and letting another dude fuck you, well, it's kind of nasty. I would be <laughs> I would be a little upset as a man about that. But I mean, as long as you're not hurting anyone, and you know you're not hurting yourself, like who gives a fuck? Then who cares about a fucking label? You know, am I a female fuck boy? I don't know. I think that's just called a whore, sweetheart. So, <laughs> I don't think it fucking I think that, Isn't there fuck girl, fuck girl, and fuck boy? Isn't it all just another word for fucking slut or whore? I mean, kind of. But I it feel like really it's mixed is. with a little bit of, like, a bad person as well. No. <laughs> well, <laughs> I picked the right name. That looked pretty godly. That, that, Didn't was, it? Didn't that was good. It? I look like I was on a cross, right? <laughs> I guess I said something about being God in the last episode. <laughs> and this chick I fuck would message me. You're talking was, about a cult. So you're a cult. Yeah, trying, to, trying to get this tax-free shit to set off. <laughs> and this chick hits me up. She was like, you're ridiculous. I was like, what are you talking about? She's like, your podcast. I was like, okay. what? Like, I say a lot of shit. What did I say? You're not God. <laughs> I was like, okay, first of all. I knew that was coming. I disagree. <laughs> it's like, you're not. And I had posted it, and I started getting messages like right after I posted it. And it was like several people that were like, you are God. And I was, so I screenshot that and said, I was like, well, I think you're wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, anyway, so. <laughs> well, good for you and your followers. Congratulations. Call me God, you cunt. You have to earn God. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> daddy is, daddy is given. God is earned. <laughs> <laughs> um, We had an email this week. Did you see that? Oh, yeah, we did. Oh, I don't want to talk oh, about that. and I'm not, I was going to say, I'm not any good with that. I don't have anything to say. Are any of the ones you put in here any good? Um, oh, th there's this one. Um, well, I don't know. This girl says, does a fuckboy expect or want anything for Valentine's Day? You being a fuckboy, would you expect something or want something? And if you did... What would you want or what would you be okay with getting? I would expect not to hear from your motherfucking ass. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I would expect. But if I unfortunately had to, I would expect the text to read, Hey, me and my girlfriend are going to come over and finish the sentence yourself. Kill you? Well... I wasn't really going in that direction. Oh, okay. I'm not going to be the one tied up. <laughs> so, yeah, like, I don't expect anything from somebody I'm just sleeping with. Like, honestly, I don't even want to hear from anybody I'm just sleeping with on, on Valentine's Day. I will be in the bar looking for stragglers. That's my Valentine's Day because it's, it's just easy picking. <laughs> so, but how good are these prizes? How good are what? I said, how good are these prizes? Prizes? What the pri women. The women. <laughs> Why would you consider a woman a prize? Oh my god! 
This is weird. <laughs> How attractive are they, though, at that point? <laughs> okay, first of all, I said it was going to a bar. So <laughs> let's factor in alcohol. <laughs> Like, okay. Listen, it's it's Valentine's Day. It's a fucking Thursday. First of all, Thursdays are big night for bars. Yes, it is. Second of all, all the fucking lonely losers are going to be at the fucking bar drinking away their misery. Okay? Exactly. They're losers. Okay, well, everyone's a fucking loser if you want to really get technical with it. <laughs> I'm not above fucking a loser. I promise <laughs> I, you, I've I, fucked hundreds. Got, I have fucked I hundreds of losers. I promise you. I have too, and I'm done. I I did my time with the losers. I'm over it. Are you? Yeah. All right, well, fine. Be alone the rest of your life. I don't care. <laughs> There's other people than just losers. Um, pick another one. Um. Let's do the, do you think, or do you or your fuckboy think it's ever worth a sub trying to, hold on, I have, I have to enlarge this, I can't see it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, trying to train a man to be a dom. I've been sleeping with this guy who's only, who has a few things down already, um, like the alpha dominant personality and ordering me around, um, but he isn't taking my hints about degradation, blah, 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 blah. Um, I normally feel like if you're not like an alpha male, if the person's not an alpha male, I really don't feel like you're not going to, I feel like you're not going to be able to teach them how to do what you want them to do. And we've said this before and, you know, suggest it again. Send, you know, you can go search BDS, hashtag BDSM on whatever social media sites and memes will come up and find the ones that you're looking to have done to you or whatever the fuck you want to call it and send them to the fucking person like you know text it to the motherfucker or whatever you know try to like because if seeing those things aren't turning him on like there's no hope for it but if he sees those things and he's like oh yeah i'm gonna come over there and put a belt around your neck and hang you from the ceiling and have my wave <laughs> that was too much <laughs> have my way with you that's probably probably a lost cause well there's i get a well we've had them questions that um girls say like oh how can i spot a dom or whatever there's something i actually just recently realized um so you say how like scorpios are like crazy i'm usually not one to like go with zodiacs and stuff but if if a person is like their sign then i would i would say it's like accurate but some people are like not anything like their sign so it's not always accurate. But in my experience, doms are usually Leos. And because Leos are alpha, I think that's why. <laughs> so that might help you out. Yes, we are. <laughs> yes, we are. We're the king of the jungle for a reason. <laughs> you know, I, I there's a... <laughs> I've been running with this Scorpio thing. I know. But this is like nothing new. I've said this shit my whole fucking life. And I'm not the type of person, like, I'm not going to read my fucking horoscope. I'm not going to fucking talk to a fucking tarot card reader or any shit like that. Yeah, I mean, either. But I can tell you, like, the, like these, there's, a, there's a pattern there with these motherfuckers. <laughs> I've had friends that are Scorpios. I've I've fucked with women that were you know were Scorpios. Like there is definitely a pattern there, and I'm not, you can't look at like everybody as a whole like this. I think they call that racism or something, horoscopism or some shit. You can't prejudice. like huh? prejudice. prejudice. Ah, there you go. There we go. <laughs> um, 
but I make such a big deal about it. I get messages all the time. They're like, what about Pisces? What about Gemini's? What about Sagittarius? I'm like, I don't fucking know. I don't, I don't know, and I don't care. I didn't get kicked in the fucking face to a closed car window by a fucking Pisces, a Gemini, or a fucking Sagittarius. It was a Scorpio. Okay? <laughs> I haven't had my shit thrown out, on a fu- out of a window onto a fucking lawn from any of those other ones. It was a fucking Scorpio. Like, but I don't know. <laughs> like, I don't follow that, that shit. I don't well, care I what your not. sign is. But if you're not Scorp- all Scorpios are like that, though, because I know Scorpios that are that aren't. So, hey. like, I, there's some people that are nothing like their sign, and there's people that are just like them. Some I people think. That fall in between. I think, and I've been like, kind of. I look at like I, I'm always looking at patterns of whatever in life, and what I think that I've realized is that if you are an October Scorpio, and oddly enough, I've actually slept with more than I care to share of Scorpios that were born actually on Halloween. The girl that kicked me in the face through the car door, she was Halloween. Um, <laughs> and there's been a few others, but I feel like if they're right around then, like I don't think any of the Scorpios I ever fucked that were born in November I ever had an issue with. But it's those okay, ones that were like right around Halloween. So I think that may play a part in it, to be honest. <laughs> Because, you know, they're the devil. <laughs> but I've had friends that are Scorpios, and you can, it's plain to see, like, their lack of being able to control their emotions. <laughs> Some girl sent me a fucking, and I'm sure you've seen it, like, the list of, of um, serial killers, like, the most, you know, prolific serial killers, and here's their signs. And these mm-hmm. fucking Scorpios are always like, there's not a Scorpio on there. I'm like, yeah. Because you motherfuckers, they don't have the fucking discipline to be serial killers. They, they, they can't control their emotions enough to be serial killers. Now look up mass murderers. <laughs> or Well, what? Ted Bundy was a Scorpio. Was he? Yeah. Because the list that I saw had no Scorpios on it. I didn't, I didn't really read the names of it, but I've been sent it many times. I'm pretty sure Ten Bundy is a Scorpio. Let me Google it really quick. Ask, uh, ask that bitch Siri. Okay, well, Siri already would have told you by now. <laughs> oh, he's a Sagittarius. Never mind. He was close. He was close? They, they both have S's? Well, Sagittarius is right after Scorpio. All right, whatever. <laughs> But no, like, yeah, y'all ain't, y'all ain't <laughs> slick. I've seen friends, like, I've had friends that are Scorpios, and they, they don't think rationally. They don't think rationally. They just don't. They, I don't know, because I have family I have family members that are Scorpios. Maybe it's because I don't have sex with them. I don't know. But they seem normal. They seem well, that's good. level-headed. They seem, like, good. <laughs> I don't know if, like, you have to have sex with one for them to go crazy. I don't know. <laughs> But I, well, I, I, saying, I, yeah, I think yeah. you gotta you gotta fuck them right. Fine. I think you gotta fuck them right first. Well, no, I don't no. think that's necessarily true. No, there's some that are fine. And some that should be medicated. But like I said, in my experience, Leos usually you can just tell they're just they're just <laughs> like you can tell like when a Leo right. walks in walks in a room like you they just I walk in and they go like this I'm like right. Hey everybody! Oh, I'm you? here, bitches. Rawr. If you guys can see what I was doing, my hand. <laughs> that was very flamboyant. <laughs> That's the best way I can describe it, since I can't see it. Girl, stop. <laughs> All right, let's wind this thing down. I'm gonna keep this fucking what would your fuck boy thing going or what would your fuck boy do thing going so i only have one <laughs> from this week because <laughs> nobody sent anything in um <laughs> yo so i've been dating a dude for two years and he refuses any type of bdsm shit like no spanking no choking um no hair pulling he say he don't <laughs> I'm reading this word for word. 
He said he don't want to hurt me. He said he don't want to hurt me. He loved me too much. <laughs> we love you long time. I was trying to get choked till I pass out. What would your fuck boy do? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, um, seeing the picture that you sent along with it, I happily choke you out so you pass out. Oh, is that her? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. I didn't know. Yeah. Yep. And that's what I would do. <laughs> so if I'm ever in Portland, I guess I should do that. <laughs> that's like a nice piece of ass, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. I mean, if you're going to be judgy, say something. No. It looks good. Did you turn it to the side? <laughs> does it change anything? I mean, I think it does. What does it change? I mean, just a different angle. What are you getting at? Nothing. You do that. You do that. Look, I'm an ass guy. What do you want from me? Well, no, I know that, and I get that. I'm, I mean, it's just, it looks better the way that she sent it, but if you turn it to the side, it doesn't look as good. You see a penis or something? No, I don't see a penis. <laughs> she looks She looks good. She looks nice. All right, lady, listen. I don't know what she's talking about. <laughs> I'd choke you till you pass out and keep fucking you. I don't know I'm going to catch shit for that, but... She asked for it. It was written in the thing. So, fuck. Well, she you. probably hates me because of what I said. So, whatever. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting way too many messages from women about that. About what? About the rape, th the rape thing. <laughs> oh, I've, I've had so many people message me, and I have not had one person be pissed off, which was actually very, very nice. I haven't. No one Mad. I haven't gotten any bad messages about it. It's mostly been, but I think some of the women are like misconstruing it with like fantasy. Because some of them like, yeah, rape fantasy, fuck yeah. I'm like, okay, that's not what she was saying. <laughs> that's not <laughs> what she was saying at all. But a couple of them, you know, there's been a couple, maybe like three or four that have been like, fuck yeah. If he looks good, rape me. <laughs> I'm like, oh my yeah. God. Yeah. And then some dude messaged me and I had to like kind of put it into even posting anything about it because dude, dude messaged me it was like dude you're gonna have guys out here running around thinking that women just want to be raped i was like oh my god although i made it very fucking clear both times we talked about it we're not that, promoting that this rape. is not a thing we are not promoting rape whatsoever um and if you don't are, rape people <laughs> don't rape people and if you do get raped Please, please do not try to enjoy it. Just try to. If you get raped, you need to report it. To, you uh, to, to yes, her daddy, sir, if you look good. <laughs> 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 anyway, let's get off this topic and wrap this shit the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, how about it, lady? <laughs> okay. Sweet dreams, nighty night, dream of that pussy being tight. All right, hopefully um, next week we'll get to the bottom of some of her issues and why she so desperately wants to be raped by a stranger that looks good and has a nice build. Okay, I did not say I desperately wanted to. Oh, I'll put my own spin on it, just shut up. <laughs> I feel like this is your fantasy. <laughs> oh, it's definitely not my fantasy. <laughs> I have no parts of that whatsoever. None of that. Now, if you, you and your sister want to come over and have sex, so the, we could talk about my fantasy. <laughs> but until then, <laughs> um, yeah, so next week should be funny, hopefully, or interesting to say the least. Um, I'll probably do my best to make the doc, the doc feeling comfortable because she did look pretty fuckable so mm. keep her on her toes you should also do the same you should you should make passes at her it'll be fun i'll try i'm usually not good at that <laughs> i'm very awkward yeah, my flirting yeah, is are. very weird <laughs> hey do you smoke mad amounts of weed like me is that how you flirt <laughs> no hey would you get like high with me 
<laughs> I'm like just really, really bad. I mean, you've talked to me. Like, I just say like weird shit that doesn't make sense. You're just like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, all right, I tried. Okay, okay, <laughs> I don't know what else there. to do. <laughs> all right, we'll see you all next week. And remember, always be a good girl for daddy. Bye.